Uh, hello everyone, my name is Yang Zhang. I'm a third year PhD student studying Center for Research in Computer Vision in University of Central Florida. Today I'm going to present my CVPR 2016 paper, Fast Zero Shot Tagging. This is a paper collaborated with Dr. Bo Qinggong and Dr. Mubarak Shaw. This is a paper addressing the problem of how to assign query image with tags that has not been seen during the training stage. Let's first review the problem of image tagging. Image tagging has remained an important task in computer vision for a long time. It is this task aimed to assign query image with multiple tags at the same time. Uh, image tagging uh, assigns an unannotated image with multiple tags is meaningful because it helps people to index and retrieve image on both social network and other personal picture connection. In practice, image tagging is often done with a mixture of uh, human tagging and uh, automatic tagging. There are three major automatic tagging methods. First one is gener generative method. It's joint modeling tags and image. Second one is discriminative method. It solves the tagging problem as a multiple multi a multi label learning problem. And third one is a nearest labor problem. So uh, nearest neighbor uh, solves the image tagging uh, through by pro find the nearest neighbor of the query image in the training data set so that assigns the nearest neighbor's tags in the training data set to this query image. All of them are conventional ta image tagging method. And the conventional image tagging pipeline has a certain limitation. Let's first look at the pipeline of it. In conventional tag image tagging method, there are two stages. Stage one is training. In training, we are given uh, training images and their corresponding training tags. From those tags and images, we can train a tagging model from it. So that at the testing stage, when given a query image, we can feed it to the previously trained tagging model. And the previous trained tagging model would assign a bunch of tags to this query image. But there is a problem. The problem is that the text that the model is able to sign is limited by the text that is seen during the training stage. In Flickr, there are thousands of frequent tags um, on the Flickr, and even more real tags. And the number of tags are increasing every day. If we want to build up a model that is able to sign those thousands of frequent tags and some real tags, we have to obtain the positive image samples for each of those tags, which is kind of impossible. And consider that the number of tags are increasing every day. Each time we want to include some new tags into the conventional image tagging method, we have to retrain this model, which is computational expensive. In this case, we want to come up with an image tagging method that is trained on a limited number of tags, but is able to predict beyond those tags. We will refer those tags that is beyond the training tags as unseen tags, which means that tags are unseen during the training stage. This has been done by Fu at 2014. They have, but their method has a limitation that they have a exponential computational complexity. So in that case, they can only perform their experiment on a very small number of tags. In their experiment, they did their experiment on um, 10 tags. In, in our experiment, we are able to assign 4,000 um, unseen tags at the same time. And we, let's look at the same uh, conventional image tagging method. In conventional image tagging method, the best method is nearest neighbors, as I just mentioned. But in um, nearest neighbor, in order to train the mode, the, uh, you have to go through M2 uh, uh, complexity, which is computational expensive. And although it has a um, state of art method, few people use it. In most general case, people use discriminative, discriminative method. In, that, in the case that both conventional image tagging method and zero shot tagging method are computational complex. We want to come up with a fast image tagging method that is able to first assign syntax, that is what conventional tagging methods do, and assign unseen tags, that is what their short tagging methods do. And besides those two tasks, we want to assign both seen and unseen tags at the same time in the same task. That is the most like, um, ta uh, cl that is a task that is close to the reality where user will expect you to sign 
both syntax and unsyntax. We know how to assign syntax because there are a lot of conventional image tagging methods already. But the problem is that how do we assign unsyntax without have positive image samples in the training data set for each of the tests? The, pro the, um, the answer is that we can transfer some knowledge of the tag about the text from the semantic domain. But how do we exactly transfer the knowledge from semantic domain? We can refer to the recent work in zero shot classification. In zero shot classification, they are trying to assign each query image with an unseen class, while we are trying to assign each query image with multiple unseen tags. Uh, let's first look at their pipeline. In the zero shot classification method, first, of course, they have an image feature extractor which converts each image to a feature. It could be a pre trained CN, it could be a SIFT, whatever you like. On the other hand, they have a class label embedding system. This class embed uh, embedding encoder converts each class name to a distributed vector in an embedding space. This vector preserves the semantic information of the class label. In that case, each class would be represented as an embedding and each image would be represented as an image feature. They just simply seek a projection between the image feature and its corresponding class embedding. So that at the training stage, when a query image came in, we can extract feature from that query image and project it into the class embedding space and assign it to the nearest class embedding. And that class embedding could be seen or unseen. In that case, the zero shot classification is done. You can classify an image into an unseen class. But in our case, our one image corresponds to multiple tag embedding in the embedding space. We can't easily seek a simple projection between one image feature and one class embedding. How do we exactly do that? Before we jump into our method, we are, well, I would like f f to first introduce our hypothesis. In our hypothesis, we assume something called principal direction. Let's first look at the image. Uh, so suppose we have an image that, that is annotated with some positive text, which is relevant to the content of this uh, image, such as zoom and animal. And it is also associated with some in irrelevant text, such as book and the seller, which is not descriptive for this image. And those tags are distributed in the word vector space, which is the embedding space I just introduced. Now, we are assuming that for this particular image, we have a something called principal direction. It is a ranking direction in this word vector space, which would perfectly rank those tags. When we project those positive tags onto this principal direction and the negative tags onto this principal direction, the projection of the positive tags would always rank higher than the negative tags. This is our first assumption, the existence of the principal direction, which means that for each image we have a, correspondence, a corresponding principal direction in the word embedding space, which could perfectly rank its syntax. If such hypothesis hold, we know that for each image there is a corresponding uh, principal direction. Then, some, when and some unseen tags come in, we would also expect the principal direction that is trained on the syntax would perfectly rank those unseen tags, even the principal direction is not trained on the syntax, unseen tags. And this is our second hypothesis the generalization of the principal direction, which means that the principal direction trained on the syntax would generalize to the unsyntax. If those two hypotheses hold, we know that for each image, there is a principal direction which could rank its uh, text in the word vector space. And then we can find the projection between this image and the principal direction so that we can project a query image to its principal direction and use that principal direction to rank its, uh, red, uh, to rank its candidate tags in the word vector space. Then our next task is how do we validate those hypotheses? Let's start one for one. The first hypothesis I just proposed is the existence of the principal direction. To va empirically validate that hypothesis, we obtain a sub subset of NUS-wide image tagging dataset. In that dataset, 
each image is annotated with 925 tags. Those 925 include some positive tags and some negative tags. So for each of those images, 925 tags, we first approximate its principal direction using a ranking SVM. How do we do that? Ranking SVM is basically infer a ranking directions from positive sam samples, which is our positive tags in this case, and negative samples, which are, which is our, the word embedding of our negative tags in this case. And then after infer the ranking SVM for each image, we then go back to those syntax, those 925 tags, to check the training ranking accuracy on those same tags. After doing that, we report the mean ranking accuracy versus the ranking SVM hyperparameters. And here is our plot. The different lines correspond to different uh, word embedding. We use different word embedding to perform this experiment. We can, and uh, uh, the x-axis is a uh, lambda, which is a uh, ranking SVM hyperparameters. The y-axis is a uh, um, mean ranking accuracy across all the images. We can see that when the lambda is known enough, for most word vectors, we could obtain a perfect rank, uh, principal directions, which perfect ranks the images text. So that our first conclusion we can draw from this empirical validation is that the principal direction exists for this 925 tags. If the principal direction exists for those syntax, could we use that principal direction to predict the unsyntax? That is our next hypothesis. This is a generalization of principal direction. We did the exactly same experiment as the previous slide shows. So we obtain the same subset, we have the same text, we train the principal directions on the same image text. But instead of checking the training accuracy on the nine, 925 text, this time we check testing accuracy on 81 unseen texts. This 81 unseen texts are disjoint from those 925 texts. So what we do is that we check the principal directions ranking ability on the 81 unseen text, regardless it's trained on 925 text. And we, as well, we report the mean ranking accuracy and versus ranking SVM hyperparameters. This mean ranking accuracy is reported on the 81 unseen text. Here we still perform the experiment on the different word vectors. Each line represents one of the word vectors. Uh, and the black line is a uh, random. As we can see that the principal directions, this is a naive sanity check, and the principal di direction can still do much better than the random, which means that we can infer the unseen tax from the syntax using the principal direction. And the principal direction trend on the syntax to generalize to the unseen tax. After we have validated our those two hypotheses, then we, we, could, uh, we could claim that for each image, we do have a principal direction in this word vector space, which could rank its tags correctly. So our next concern is that, can we infer the principal direction directly from the query image? Because <coughs> the previous exper uh, experiment shows that we can infer principal direction from the syntax, but at the time of the image tagging, we are given a query image. How do we infer a principal direction from a query image directly without knowing its text? So here we are inferring a function f, which could directly project this image x to its correspondence principal direction. After projection, we can infer its tax ranking by, mod by project those t candidate tags on this inferred principal direction. So the key here is how we learn this f function, which can map the image to its principal direction. We offer two approaches to learn this, approximate this function. The first one is a linear approach. Linear approach directly, um, linear approach estimates the parameter a 
x is an image feature and pd is a principal direction for that image. So in this case, we are estimate directly using uh, by by instrument a, which, which we can give an uh, image feature x. We can directly map it to its principal direction by multiplying a. The second uh, uh, approach is a deep learning approach. It is a nonlinear uh, extension of the linear approach. Both of them are driven by the ranking rules of tags that is projected onto this principal direction. And after we have obtained the principal direction using this method from the query image, we can project those candidate tags onto this given principal direction and get, get the rank of those tags and obtain the top tags as the tags which describes this image. We do this experiment on the NUS dataset. NUS Y dataset is a pretty large dataset. It contains around 200,000 images. And each image is annotated with uh, three of those tag configuration which are mutually exclusive. We split, we use different tag con configuration in, in a different individual task. And we evaluate our method in seven comprehensive co complementary uh, evaluation metric. First, let's look at the conventional tagging performance. The conventional tagging is what I mentioned before. We train a model on the syntax. We test the model on the same syntax, which is what uh, the current most conventional tagger do. We compare our method with some uh, state-of-art method and with seven or seven different evaluation. And we can see that our nonlinear approach outperform other baseline in all the evaluation metric. The second what we do is a zero shot tagging. The zero shot tagging is that we train our model on um, 925 tags and test it on the disjoint 81 tags. The disjoint 81 tags is exclusive from the 925 tags. It's not appear there. And we the baseline appear here are zero shot classification method. Although I said previously that zero shot classification cannot be used for tagging directly, but the classification confident confidence could be still be used for the ranking and we can still evaluate them and compare them with the tagging method. So still we can see here, our nonlinear approach of fast zero tag outperform all other baseline in the zero shot tagging method. Besides the conventional tagging and zero shot tagging method, we, put, uh, we propose a uh, completely new tagging task, which we call it as a scene, unseen tagging task. In this task, we train our model on a limited set of tags. We test our tags on a tag set that is both contains seen and unseen tags. So in this case, we train our tags contain 925 seen tags. We test it on the 1,000 seen and unseen tags, which is the union of previous two tasks. And we observe that our method of linear approach has outperformed other methods. At last, to, pro uh, to prove that our method is scalable, we train our method on 925 tags and test our method on 4,000 unseen noisy tags. And still we can see our method is much better than the random. And we have also performed such experiment on another data set, which you can refer to my supplementary material. So in this paper, we first make an observation that each image corresponds to a principal direction in the word vector space, which can use to rank its tags, with, regardless if it's seen or unseen or not. And based on that observation, we develop a fast tagging algorithm, which is able to first assign syntax and unsyntax and both of them and also perform the state of art method and with uh, no computational complexity. And here is uh, some quantitative results. I'll take question from further. Thank you.